Have you ever wondered how a vineyard operates, especially during a pandemic? Well, I have, and this week on Take a Tour with Taylor, I stopped by Black Sheep to see how they do just that. Black Sheep Vineyard is going on its 13th year. What started out as a home on a farm has quickly turned into a small town favorite. Well, I came out here for a coal mine job about 23 years ago and um, never even dreamed about doing this, but we ended up on this little farm and my wife and I were walking around here one day and she said to me, you know, John, this would be a nice place for a little winery. And I didn't know anything about growing grapes or making wine, so I said, are you freaking crazy or what? And the rest is history, known for its multitude of wines, cheeses, atmosphere, and of course, everyone's favorite, the vineyard dogs. Well, that's Polo. He's a vineyard dog. Polo, Polo, hey, he's, uh, he's the chief greeter, him and Foch. We're kind of known for our vineyard dogs. A lot of people, when they come here, are like, where are the dogs at? So I'll have to go get them out of the house. As far as the wine process, the grapes are all regional. However, the racking, pumping, processing, and labeling, Black does it all right in the basement. Like right now I have uh, a thousand gallons or so of wine out, outside to cold stabilize. It'll, it'll filter the wine and settle it and clarify it, and I'll have to pump that back in. So you're always cleaning tanks and pumping stuff around. And every week I have to bottle and label and shrink wrap wine. Even though they had to cut out the live music and being open only two days a week, they're still powering through. Black says much of their business is distribution, which has increased. The pandemic has hit them in other ways as well. John lost a sister to the virus, and with his wife battling cancer, it has posed some serious concerns. It's put, you know, us in an awkward situation and kind of a, a scary one, you know, with her and um, maybe being more susceptible to the disease than we'd like to be. But so it's affected us financially, it's affected us emotionally, it's affected us, you know, I just miss having people come in and be able to hug them and shake hands and and uh, do the people thing like we usually do. Black says he just wants everyone to stay safe and hang in there. He says you can get a little bit of black sheep at the grocery store or stop at the vineyard to take some home. The Take a Tour with Taylor series will continue in the coming weeks, but for now, reporting from Black Sheep Vineyard, Taylor Long, working for you.